this institution is is a parasitic institution that lives off the labor of its subjects. And it engages in activities that would be considered the greatest moral enormities if engaged in by the citizens. But when they are engaged in by the ruling class, well, this is just a matter of public policy. We can expropriate you to whatever limit prudence will allow. We can kidnap you if the cause is just in our view and only we can decide whether it's just or not. We can do all these very – throw you in cages for arbitrary reasons. Anybody else doing this, would, we would immediately see there's something wrong with it. But we've been taught that, well, these, these are special people. Now, this is like the most grotesque superstition and yet we are all taught to absorb this. Moreover, the state is looking to protect itself more than it's looking to protect you. And if you doubt that, consider the severity with which it treats crimes against itself and compare that with the dispatch with which it goes after somebody who stole your $10. How does it get away with all this? And Rothbard said, it's the bamboozling of the public, okay? It's the intellectual class that has a special relationship with the state apparatus, and it's their job to explain to us why we need these people and how necessary this all is. And it comes in different forms. We have economists who tell us, well, the government activates the Keynesian multiplier, which allows us to be prosperous. Or, or it's other people who say well, the government protects you from those bad people on the other side of that mountain or whatever it is. And, and if it weren't for them, well, you would just be thrown on your own, your own devices and where would you be? And, you know, whereas today, of course, if, if there's an intruder in your house, well, then we just accept it. We just go, we don't have any, it takes an incredible amount of imagination to imagine a different way of living. But the key thing to me is that there is no we in all this. We, we often hear, you know, we keep bombing these people and we shouldn't do it. And I say, what do you mean by we? I haven't bombed anybody. What are you talking about? I, I, I've done everything I can to stop them from bombing people. Or we starve them with our sanctions. We? Our? Stop talking like this. They starve those people with their sanctions. The state is a separate entity from us because it makes you begin to think, well, you know, this, this really is an expression of my own will. It's an extension of my own will one way or the other. And so if you insult my government, you are insulting me. You know, it's, it's, it's brilliant in how rotten and deviously fiendish and clever it is that it makes people feel like they have a, an emotional and personal stake in the policies of that government. But there is no we.